and welcome to our lesson number two. I am Miss Mariana and I'm going to work with you today, okay? But first, recuerden que si necesitan tiempo extra para trabajar en su copybook o en su book, student's book or activity book, solamente colocan pausa en el video y cuando estén ready, colocan play again, okay? So let's start. Today we are going to work on a reading time lesson. Here we have SpongeBob reading a book, okay? Please open your copybook and write down reading lesson and the objective that is to answer questions about a text, okay? The title of the text is A New Friend. This is the name of the text. Si necesitas tiempo, coloca pause. Y cuando estés listo, colocas play again. Ok. A new friend. Mm, what is a new friend? Ok. Let's see. Before reading the text, I want you to look these eight pictures about the text. And let's imagine. What do you think is the text going to be about? Here we have number one. Here we have two boys and two girls walking on the street. Now we have two girls talking to each other and she has got a musical instrument. Then we have three boys and they are talking and it seems to be a schoolyard. Now we have the three boys talking outside a building. Maybe a, a school or a house. Now we have two girls, but now she has got the musical instrument. Now we have the three boys talking and he's looking for something. Maybe he's looking for an object inside his bag. In this picture, we have the five kids talking on the schoolyard and she has got the musical instrument and she has got maybe a poster or a photograph. And in the last picture, we have the five kids again talking maybe about school or Tiger Street Club, okay? So now, we are going to start reading, but first, I'm going to help you. Yo les voy a ayudar un poquito. ¿Cómo? I'm going to give you keywords, palabras claves. Here we have story keywords. The number one is blue bag. This is a blue bag. Number two, music book. Here we have a music book. Number three, recorder. This is a recorder, okay? And the last one is owner. Here we have the owner. This is a dog and this man is the owner of the dog. Okay, so now open your student's book on page number six. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, this is page number six. Here, page six and seven. You have to read on your own the text. Van a leer por ustedes mismos el texto solitos. So you have to stop the video and once you finish the reading, you can play again. Okay, I am re waiting here for you, so don't worry. Okay, did you finish? Very good. But now let's watch the video with these five kids, five members of the Tiger Street Club telling the story. Okay, so let's watch the video. Here we go. What's that? It's a blue bag. The recorder inside. And a music book. But there isn't a name inside. Let's take them to school. Hello, what's your name? Oliver. I'm new here. I live in Tiger Street. We live in Tiger Street too. 
I'm in classroom 4B. Oh, good. We're in the same class. I want to play the recorder. We need to find the owner. Let's make a poster. What's that noise? It's terrible. Someone is playing the recorder. I've got a recorder too. Oh no! Oh, it's Ellie. This is Oliver. Hello, is this your recorder and music book? Yes, thanks. What a great poster. You're very good at art. I can teach you to play. Great, thanks. Do you want to be a member of the Tiger Street Club? Fantastic! I can help you all with music. And you can help me with art. Okay. So, did you like it? Yes, it was very good. Yes or no? Oliver was very good player playing the recorder. Yes, not like Ellie. Ellie was so so. Yes. So now let's work on the activities. Okay. Go to page number seven, and here we have six questions. We said read and write the correct sentence. Each one has got different mistakes, un error cada una, diferentes errores. You have to circle the mistake and correct next to the sentence, okay? For example, I'm going to give you the, the first one. Lo voy a ver con la primera. It says, number one, it's the last day of school. Mm, it's the last day of school, yes or no? And if we look at the text, here we have, it's the end of the summer holidays. Today is the first day back at school. So it's the last day of school or it's the first day? Yes, this is, is wrong. So I'm going to circle last, yes or no? And I'm going to write here, instead of last, I'm going to write first. Ooh, it's shaky. First, okay? And then you have to do the same with the others. Circle the mistake and correct next to the sentence, okay? So let's see next activity. Read and reflect. This story is a fairy tale, a thought story, or a myth. Fairy tale is similar to um, Cinderella or the Little Red Riding Hood, okay? Here we have the next question. I think the story is okay, good, very good or excellent, okay? Number three, the story ends in a happy, sad or funny way. My favorite character is Ben, Claire, Ellie, Nazim or Oliver, okay? So you have to complete in your cup, in your book, sorry, okay? Now, you can start working on your student's book. Stop the video, and once you've finished, you can play again, okay? I'm going to be here. Okay, you finished. Now let's work on your activity book. Open your activity book on page number six, okay? Activity number four. Read a number in order. Here we have different sentences about the text, but these parts of the text are not order. For example, here we have Oliver plays the recorder. Ellie plays the recorder, but it sounds terrible. Ellie says, this year I want to learn to play a musical instrument. 
It's the first day back at school. They return the book and they record it to Oliver. Ellie and Claire find a recorder and a music. Okay. From this part, which one is the number one? Here we have the example. This is number one. It's the first day back at school. This is the first sentence from the text. Es la primera parte que aparece del texto. You can help yourself by using your student's book. Okay? So, let's see activity number five. Order and write. And then you have to match. First, step number one. You have to order these sentences. We have, for example, Half past nine, inter interrogative uh, sign, what we had at got. Oh my God, this is a mess. Yes or no, you have to order the question. What's the question? The question is, what have we got at half past nine? You have to order, okay? And then you have to match with one of the kids that said that sentence. Who said, what have we got? At half past nine, this boy, letter D, yes or no? And how do you know? You can help yourself with your student's book. Number two, music at with quarter past ten and got. What's the order? You have to order the sentence and then you have to match with one of these boys or girls. Okay. Three, play recorder the one, two, I. One more time. Write in order the sentence and then you match with the other kids. And the last one. Teach I, you can play too. Order the sentence and then you match. Remember, recuerden que pueden ayudarse de su student's book. Page six and seven. And the last part. Homeschooling. Read and reflect. Is your opinion, okay? This is your own opinion. I think, hmm, I think it is or it isn't very important to welcome new pupils on the first day of school. I can or I cannot play a musical instrument. My favorite moment in the story is, oh, my favorite moment, which one is when Ellie plays the recorder maybe? I think that Oliver is, and your opinion about Oliver. And the last activity, write six words from the story. Tell your family what they mean. You are going to choose six words from the story, okay? Any, any, any words, the, the chosen by you. Your favorite words from the text, and you have to write it here. Okay, then you are going to tell your family the meaning in Spanish, maybe, of these words. Okay, so now we finish the lesson for today. The answers are going to be checked on the retroalimentación session. Cuando nos juntemos en nuestra retroalimentación, revisaremos sus respuestas. Okay, so. Goodbye and see you in the next class. Bye-bye.